everybody and welcome back to Color is My Weapon. Today's video is another recreation video. It's something that I have started with my IGTV. So my first ever recreation version 2.0 uh, of old makeup looks that I've done in the past. Of course it's in the past because it's old. Uh, is in my IGTV so check it out first before coming into this video but today's video this is a highly highly requested version 2.0 uh, remake because it's also the most viewed makeup tutorial on my channel and this is if you guys are familiar with it this is the barely there makeup tutorial now a little fun fact about that video I was actually called out by several people because barely there meant minimal makeup to them but that's why I put the yeah because it's just the look that we're trying to achieve now for today's look I'm also trying to do yourself but better using different makeup techniques I'm just really confused what's the PC term now <laughs> is it barely there is it makeup no makeup makeup. I think that's a little bit more straightforward, something that you can understand quickly. But essentially, that's that's what this look is all about. It's just accentuating your beautiful face and just adding color here and there to just make you look a little bit more polished. But before we go on to the video, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so that you know every time I have a new YouTube video. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and... So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So let's get started. First things first, you need to prep your skin. Um, this will ensure that your foundation, whatever you're going to put on top, is going to just be seamless and beautiful and perfect. And so far, um, the Farsali Unicorn Essence has been working so much for me. Um, I know that it's such a hyped product because, of course, it's from Farsali. Uh, however... See, I'm milking every, I'm milking this to the last drop because it's such a good serum itself. I also have on a moisturizer. I did all my um, daytime routine on my skin. Uh, so prior to this serum, I have that. Um, but for this makeup, this will be the first base. Let's start with the base proper. Now I have here, this is my NW25 Studio Concealer. This is just um, a concealer that has a very peachy undertone. And I like to do a little bit of correcting first. I'm just going to blend that underneath my eye. Now foundation is very crucial because you also don't want something too heavy, but you should have coverage in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix Becca Skin Love in Olive Fit Me Foundation Dewy Plus Smooth into 10. This is also like my skin in a bottle, okay? I'm going to use the Real Techniques face expert brush so this is how the skin looks like L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in um, Cashew. Like that. So 
So that instantly just brightened the face. The cashmere color for added highlighting. So we will be entering the realm of highlight and contour. So we're done with the highlighting part. Now let's proceed to the contour, Stasia Beverly Hills Mink Contour. We're trying to mimic shadows. We don't want to have any glitter or whatnot, so we have to concentrate on the shadows being um, achieved. So I usually just start there and then blend with the same brush I used for my highlight. Right, so very subtle, very, very subtle. I'm going to pick up some of it on my brush now and just intensify the color at the back and then the color on my forehead. Now because I have a slightly more golden undertone, I will be setting this with a bronzer that is um, golden. So don't worry too much if it's looking too um too flat that's not gonna be for long so now let's set everything with powder for my under eyes i love using my charlotte tilbury you know this this is in the shade fair and i'm just gonna use it with a dry real technique sponge Now for everywhere else on my face, actually wait, I'm just going to use the Patrick Star Loose Powder. Now that's done. I'm not even gonna set the whole face with powder anymore. Now the bronzer that I'll be using is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Bronzer. Now the way that I'll be contouring, I'm not just gonna go there and shove um, the, the brush, but what I'm gonna do is going this way when I um, put on my contour. So it's looking, it's gonna look like this, right? Like that. Other side. Now let us um, use the Prep and Prime Fix Plus from MAC before we do any highlighting. On my cheeks, I will be using Soft and Gentle from MAC. On my forehead, what I love to use is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. Now let's go to eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use something that's not, not a typical color. This is called Quake. This is the color right here. Yes. Very gently put a wash of color all over the lids. And I'm being very, very gentle with this one. It's a very light hand I'm using. And then just following the crease of my eye, the natural crease of my eye, and just blending that through. Now that you have that on, let's layer on top of it using the same brush. A warmer brown color. This is called Sinner. 
and I'm just patting it where the color is. Okay, I'm very much satisfied with that. Now let's move on to the eyeliner. Um, I'm going to be using my Intuit Waterproof Gel Pencil. We have to wet this first too, a little bit. And taking the darkest um, eyeshadow in this palette, uh, this is Effort. I'm going to set the liner with powder. Beautiful. And then for my inner tear ducts, I'm actually just going to use my dandelion highlighter. I'm also going to take the NYX Full White. Now for cheeks, I'm going to be using Glossier's Cloud Paint and Haze. Okay, for lips, um, I'm going to be using, this one is uh, from Etude House. I'm not sure uh, what it's called, but I got this as a Christmas present from my sister-in-law. Uh, but the color of the uh, lipstick is just a bright orange. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Lolita first, the uh, Kat Von D studded lipstick first. That's Lolita. You can just use that in itself, perfectly fine. But I want to take it a little bit further. So I'm taking the lipstick, the Etude House, and just I don't know about you, but I never really got into the craze of ombre lips, like the Korean um, makeup style with the lips. But ever since I got this from my sister-in-law, I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. Anyway, uh, also, on top of that, I'm going to use this Ulta lip gloss in blush. And that is the completed look and I actually really like how this turned out it's so fresh my skin looks so doughy I love it it's it's not a typical color is my weapon um, makeup style but I really really am loving this especially the lip part and the eyes and the skin everything about it I just I love it I love it I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you also were enlightened in some way uh, with the techniques that I shared with you today. Uh, also, if you guys would like to see another recreation video, uh, just let me know. Comment below what video you would like me to recreate and make a version 2.0. Let your girl know. Let me know so I can get on it right away. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. Stay happy and healthy. May God bless you abundantly. May you have a fabulous day ahead. Bye-bye. Why did I do that? <laughs>